Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and the big news today is drugs are the key. Yeah, they're the key to getting you a pardon because, well, the president's thinking it's not so bad if you did drugs, or you were selling drugs, or yes, anything associated with drugs, you could get a pardon. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, according to this morning, because they said that the, the Obamacare is going over so well today that the pre, that the that the Democrats now are looking at gaining dem, uh, gaining seats from Republicans, and um, and and then the problem is that the president who came out this morning with his another victory lap. We now have eight and a half million signed up. Okay, here the problem is. The system does no more than 50,000 people a day. Last Thursday, he had 8 million. The day is Monday. That is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You can't have more than 150,000 people signed up. Mm -hmm. And he's got 500,000 on a system that would take 10 days to do it. Mm -hmm. And Putin, an ally suggests U.S. sanctions on his back bank have backfired. Well, because they're, they're laughing at the United States. They took the money from American banks and just transferred, them, transferred it to uh, European banks. He gave everybody like a three-week shot to pull their funds out. What? And they did it. They, all the Russian businessmen yanked all the funds out of this country. We know because the money had totally dried up for Russian investment in American film productions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've seen that directly. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Bloomberg is starting a gun control organization to take on the NRA. Well, he's doing it to save the families in this country. The problem comes is that Michael Bloomberg spent $10 million of money on his gun control thing to uproot uh, Republican governors because he wanted to put friendly Democratic governors in. He didn't get one win out of the money he spent. And they said, why? Because the money he's spending, he's spending the money in states where they don't believe, where they don't believe in gun control. And he's trying to get, trying to get people that carry rifles in their back windows to surrender their rifles to the authorities and turn their countries over, states over to Democrats, which they said, well, was one of the people said yesterday, he said he could take all his ten billion dollars he has, and the only way he's going to get people to change their minds in a, in a gun in a state where guns are, are popular in is to buy each person that he's doing it, which they said you, you can do. But and San Francisco probe leading to entrapment claims. Oh, they're claiming these guys that were caught breaking the law. You know, like the guy that basically was selling all the, you know, that basically passed legislation to restrict weapons, and then was caught sending. Right there, uh, uh, we're sending. Uh, they were doing a thing on crowdfunding and housing. But he, he, he was doing business with people on the bad guy side, like Al Qaeda and things, and selling them the guns that he was getting forbidden to own in the state of California. And big, we're talking heavy weaponry he was selling to them. What? But you can't convict me because I was entrapped. What? No, he he basically. Uh, I'm guessing they said has a record of gun trafficking, and they oh. were ignoring it. They think the Democrats may lose the Senate in California, the Senate seat, the state Senate, because there's so many people currently indicted by Obama's people. And Stone's plan first Israel gig, but urged to reconsider. Um, I, I, I'm going to make something very plain. Uh, Mikhail Jagger. Ooh, what? What religion do you think Mikhail Jagger might be? Mm -hmm. And uh, and a few of the other guys in the Rolling Stones just happen to probably be of the Jewish persuasion. Mm -hmm. They basically, it's called, they don't do things for art's sake. The Stones do things only for money's sake now. Mm. Global warming not stopped will go on for centuries, the WMO. I know that... Uh, the, the, but uh, the Obama administration, well, we've got, to, sir, we've got to give the world $2 trillion so that we can stop. Well, they've already admitted that nothing you do is going to stop global warming because it is a natural occurring event. One volcano, when it goes, poof, does, equals every automobile and plant in the world for a year. One shot in the atmosphere. And we've got a lot of active volcanoes in this, kind, in this world, so... Are evangelicals out of touch with mainstream views? No, their views are the mainstream views. That's the problem. The views that are out of touch are the people that are on the left that basically thinks that um, 
You know, that we, we, we've got to, you know, what was it? You can no longer do business the way you're doing it. You must pay for your crimes that you have done. You know, and God basically is dead. God doesn't exist. You know, okay. Oh, here's one. If it was a Muslim evangelist, would they say they were out of the mainstream? No. Mm. It's only Christian views or Jewish views are out of the mainstream. And Congress wants ESIG oversight. Yeah, Congress wants a lot of oversight. That they, 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 they basically they 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 uh, have no control over e-cigarettes at the moment. E-cigarettes are basically here's the problem is they said that while they may ban e-cigarettes, guess what's not going to get banned? What if you use it for marijuana? What then it becomes perfectly legal. Oh, so you can use your e-cig for marijuana? But you can't use it for uh, you can't use it for fruit juices. <laughs> Yeah. You know, you can use non-nicotine. Most of the stuff they sell is non-nicotine. I think I have some flavors like jelly bean and, you well, know, okay, watermelon. That's right. That's the biggest business they have is people that don't want, they, they, uh, they want to stop smoking and they don't want the nicotine stuff, so they're using those. But the, the government wants to put a halt to it so they can get uh, tax money from selling it for uh, marijuana only. Mm. But see... There's just a hop, skip, and a leap to using the e-cigarettes for uh, cocaine purposes and heroin. And you heard it here. Yeah. <laughs> say it is. And Republicans to write. Oh yeah, because they always say marijuana is an entry. Um, it is an entry level drug. But, but they say marijuana is okay. But alcohol okay, is bad. No less and than uh, are bad. But no less than was it, Obama wanted that uh, Sanjay Group or something to be in his administration. He basically has now testified, you know, on CNN, I think, that, that it, it basically destroys brain cells. He said, you, it's why they call the, that's why they call drugs dope, because it, it destroys minds. He said, basically, after you've done it for a while, what happens is you destroy X amount of brain cells that never come back, and then in order to get a buzz, you have to go to a more potent drug. Obama, Obama and Holder don't think there's anything illegal about taking drugs that can kill tens of thousands of people. Mm. And Congress wants e -cig Oh, we could have that. Republicans to write budget they expect the president to love. Well, yeah, because they're going to give Obama everything he wants, which is why they said that. Here's, the, here's what I, I, I have been told is going to happen. Republicans, if the Republicans take the Senate, McConnell is going to be gone. And they already have the House. If they take the Senate... Um, uh, Baynard goes also. And then the Republicans first impeach uh, Obama in the House and Senate. Then they put Biden behind Biden, which Mike Biden obviously has Alzheimer's disease. It's sort of easy to figure that out. He, <laughs> he can put, they can have, have him put in a, med in a mental facility for 30 days to test whether he has the problem or not. In 30 days, they will undo every single thing that the Obama administration did, every one of them. Hmm. So, they don't even have to win the presidency. If they take the Senate, they take the presidency. It's that simple. Hmm. Obama knows it. Oh. Um, Snowden regrets staged Putin Q&A. Oh, yeah. He asked, do the Russians monitor people's conversations? And he said, uh, unlike the United States, we don't. Well, they, um, okay, every country in Europe monitors your conversations. <laughs> the t I, we, we gotta, I always like to do this. I worked on a dirty dozen. I was there when they did the scene, the day where uh, Charles Bronson. I didn't do anything wrong, and me Marvin says we both know that, but you got caught. <laughs> That's what happened with the NSA. They got caught bent breaking the rules. Uh -huh. And Crimeans find their new lives in Russia harder than expected. You know, it's back to basically uh, the food isn't as good. The nothing is as good under the Russian government. So. Mm -hmm. And did the U.S. choose the wrong allies in the global fight against terrorism? Well, the, they chose the guys that weren't on the side of the Muslim terrorists. So they figure, well, we should have we should have <coughs> sided with Al Qaeda, and we should have sided, sided with the Taliban, and then we wouldn't have ever had these problems. Well, they had they killed the guys. The people we sided with didn't kill the people in the trade towers. They Al, didn't. They, Al Qaeda and the Taliban were the bad guys, folks. Oh. Remember, they basically think the bad guys are the good guys on the Obama administration and his friends in the media.
Um, well, Anthony Weiner finally gets a media job he wanted all along. Well, yeah, what was that? Uh, basically, he's now a pundit explaining things for, uh, for I think, MSNBC. So. Really? Well, they really they keep swinging. The further left the net NBC goes, the less audience they have. They're now underneath the you know reruns of of Leave It to Beaver. Oh no! Yeah. And voters pessimistic about the economy and positive about pot. The new poll says. I know because okay, here it is. Um, years and years ago, when I was at UCLA, the UCLA had a broadcasting program. We did a survey. On, they wanted to get rid of the agricultural station from the UCLA, the college broadcast department didn't want the agricultural station to broadcast to go because it, it was basically, the, that's where they weaned people on was that one. And so we were given a survey, we basically, we only picked out houses that had television antennas that were in the country. You know, anything outside the city limits. And guess how what it showed that survey? What? That the people in the survey overwhelmingly approved of agricultural television in the morning. Hmm. Because they were all farms and they you can you knew they were farms, they had television antennas up on their homes and they were agriculture oriented. So guess you you basically just went to every single one of them and none of the houses that didn't have T V antennas hmm. that didn't have farms on them. And voters pessimistic about the economy and positive about pot, the new poll says. I know she likes um, What well, is? Okay, let's see. Um, immigration activists blast Obama. Well, because they want him, they said it's inhumane to deport these people. Um, oh, you know what Flea Obama said? Oliver Wendell Holmes said, the law is the law is the law. If you don't like the law, change the law. Don't break the law, which is what's being done. If they come, okay, if we do the same thing in Mexico, they put us in a jail cell. Yeah. Yeah. Then they deport you. <laughs> or sometimes they put you in the jail cell and you get lost for many years. Then they deport you. <laughs> um, Christians have to understand that they are not being singled out. Oh, absolutely they're being singled out. Obama does not like Christians. They basically questioned him going to church on Sunday. What? Well, because they said he has a... He has his, he, he, he done everything he possibly can do to hurt the Christians in this country and the Jews in the Middle East, and he goes to a church, on a Catholic church on Sunday. Of course he went to a Catholic church on yeah. Sunday. Yeah, make yourself look good. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, uh, okay, the, basically the laws are there for a reason.